Hi, my name is Sonia Rogers, and I am starting this YouTube channel. Just did with STR Designs, because that's what my hobby page is on Facebook. But the intent of the video today is to talk about sandblasting cups. Um, I typically, I typically paint cups with airbrushes and spray guns and using automotive grade paint. But in order for me to prep the surface so that I get the best look possible, I start with these stainless steel cups. To me, it does not matter the brand I like to paint or whatever type of cup. Nobody folks want or ask me, friends and family are asking me to paint. But sometimes you get a cup and they've got stickers on them. A couple things that I have learned along the way over the last couple years of doing this. If you have a sticker that will not go away, WD-40, we'll clean it and get it ready. Now for me, I honestly don't worry about that a whole, whole lot because I'm going to sandblast this. So let's travel over to my sandblast cabinet. I'll show you what it looks like and I will show you the air compressor that will obviously feed the air for me to sandblast and I'm going to show you all right, so we are at the blast cabinet. The blast cabinet is this unit right here. And we're gonna walk through how I do this in a minute and what's inside it and all of that. But before we do any of this, before we turn anything on, I wanna talk to you about PPE, personal protective equipment. First and foremost, when I'm using my blast cabinet, you will notice around the cabinet, um, there's, there's, there's a white, Film, and I literally have to wipe my cabinet off every day. So when I go to blast, I wear a face mask because when I'm blasting, particles get thrown into the air and I want to be safe. So I have an N95 mask that I'm wearing and you probably won't see that on me while I'm actually blasting because I'm going to be showing inside the cabinet the cup that I'm working on. But the other thing that you can do as you're doing cups. Typically when I blast, I wear this. And whenever I go to clear coat my cup, the very, very, very last step, I wear my respirator mask. This is a professional grade 3M mask, and it will keep all of the like, things that are flashing off and leaving the product so that it can clear and harden. That mask will do the work. So that is my full respirator my daughter has on. The other thing I wanna show you is my air compressor. I do have a fairly decent sized air compressor for the work that I'm doing. My compressor is 26 gallons. And you'll notice I have two lines of air coming out of the air compressor. This one is gonna run over to my paint booth over here. And this one is running behind my blast cabinet. Now, of course, my cups are sitting on the blast cabinet right here that I'm knocking over, and that's what we're gonna paint today. Go ahead and get ready to blast. So we open the side door. My daughter's gonna go ahead and put these four cups in here for me. We're just gonna lay them in there. And I'm gonna show you inside the cabinet. We have a medium in there. And you can see some of the paint in laying in the medium back here that we've stripped off of other cups. And that'll come out eventually. But we're ready to go. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna make sure my mask is on. And hands are in the little you'll see in here, see my gloves? Those are my hands and my gloves. So, here we go. Obviously, you're gonna hear my air compressor as we do this. So I'm gonna show you the cup with the sticker that I was not worried about at all. 